Hi, I'm Allison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for beginners on YouTube step by step and I also do them in real time so that you can follow along with me. So I will teach you all kinds of things like landscapes and seascapes and everything that you would need to know about acrylic painting for the beginner and it will get you started and now let's get started. longer brush here, longer liner brush, and put some black down there, black for all eyelashes. Fill up my brush, black, see how it's dripping there? So, see that? Get that off because that will go on your painting and then we'll, we won't get those nice thin lines. Let's see, how can we do our eyelashes? Let's just flick up a few little lines. Make some longer than others. So I'm shorter ones down here, and then we'll come up here and we'll make them a little longer. Some short ones, some long ones, make it look a little natural. And we'll do some over here. Little ones down here, and as you get to the top of the line, you can make them a little bigger. Try to make them a little curved. Good. Good, good. Try the flat chisel edge. I'll try it first before you do. That way, if I make a mess, you can say, Oh, that didn't work. This one's a little bit big. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Now what I'm going to try my filbert because that one's a bit too big. I can find it. Here it is. I'm going to try that one see what happens. Um, it's a bit better. I think that's better. Seems to be working a bit better. I'm going to pull that down here and go over that again. Just keep playing with it until we get what you're looking for. Okay. Here, Get a little bit of highlight up here. Now let's clean our filbert brush off, off on our tissue, and get some of the deeper red by having by putting red with a little bit of brown. Let's try the brown. A little bit of brown. That's deep. That's nice. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's not dark enough. So I'm going to add a bit of blue. Add a bit of blue. Where am I? Blue. My red. That's too blue. Add more red. I want to use that for shadow color in here.
in here. And the crease of our mouth right here. some shadow in here and in here. Bring it out to the edge. Good. And underneath the lip here, we did that already, but didn't get it dark enough. I'm pretty sure when I did this before I had to go over it several times. Down at the bottom. Now if you can find an easier way to do that, you certainly can do that. Let's give it a little bit of a line up here. Shadow. Here. Good. Darken that up there. And here. I'm thinking that bottom lip is a bit too big. So I'm just going to try and, yeah, let's bring that down here like this. And the line under here. Now when you're following along with this, don't try to do it exactly like me because I might be making a few mistakes here, okay? So make sure if something don't look right, you you know, do it what looks right to you, okay? Good. A little more red. I just cleaned my brush off a little bit and uh, the tissue and I got a little more red go in this corner here, a little bit here. I may have to take this part out here with some flesh tone because it looks like a little bit too big for me. I'm not sure what's going on there. It could be the way I drew it. Probably didn't draw it exactly the way I should have. Who knows? Okay. Yeah, I must have did something wrong because the top lip in this picture here looks bigger than the bottom lip, but I got it the opposite. Now, how did I do that? Well, I'm going to tell you about it anyway. I'm not going to hide it because I want you to see. Sometimes things can go haywire. Now, I could I could start it over and, and fix it all up and everything, but I I'm just going to continue on. So I'm going to take this, uh, let's see, let's see, this is a little smaller down here. I'm just going to make adjustment right here, right here. Maybe if I move this down a little bit. That part a bit smaller. That might help. Now we'll take the same brush and clean it off really good and then we'll get some of that pink color, a bit of white, red, and bring up some of those lines again. Yeah, those highlights are um, coming down here. See, we do another picture and it'll be different. The highlights could be way different depending on the picture itself. Now 
out. Now I'm going to go back and get a bit of red, bit of, bit of that darker color again, and I'm going to bring up some of these lines here like this. Go back into the, uh, the lips, a little bit here. Good. That way the highlight is not too bad. Now, let's see that. Does that look okay? Let's see. Maybe I could bring that down a bit more over here. So let's take the dark blue and a little bit of um, black and Let's see, let's see, a bit of blue and a little bit of brown and a little bit of black. Get that nice dark, a little bit of red too, I think. And just try to get that corner one right here. Looks kind of like it needs to be adjusted. I think that's to be adjusted. And now we have to get our red again. And oh my arm is in the way. Put that over here. And then I'm going to put some of that red right here in the corner. To clean up that line and not make it too big. Adjust your lines. Try to get them so that they look they look sensible. I'm just going to leave that like that for now. Good. Let's just try a little bit in here. Come down here. some shadow color for here and here. Uh, let's see, let's see. I think I might have that too. Let's see. Probably make more sense when I put the shadow on there. Alright. Alright, so let's now put our shadow. Just add more brown to your color, your skin tone. And it goes brown right here. Let's see. I got some brown here. And what else we got? This here looks a bit weird. Let's try that. And we have a shadow here. Goes up to around here. Add a little bit of white to that color that you did. I'll bring that to white. I don't want it too white. More brown. Just your colors. Just your colors so that you can see what you're doing. Bring it up around here. I'm going to add more brown. So I want to get that up around the nose a little bit to give a shape. Right here, the shadow color here, 
Oh, it doesn't want to go brown. I'll just keep adding more brown until I get what I'm looking for. Oh. Okay. So, getting there. We are certainly getting there. Let's see if I can adjust that a little bit. So go back and forth with your shadow color until you get what you're looking for. If you have to go over it a little bit, it's too light, too dark, or as long as you got everything in place, then you can just go back over it again without too much trouble. All right, might need to put some more flesh tone right here and around here. Okay. So, hopefully you got patience. Ugh. Hopefully you got patience. Give it a shot all around here. It takes patience and time. It takes patience and time. All right. Now it's coming along. You can make some adjustments. I see the mouth here. It needs her teeth. And uh, we're just going to shade in the teeth a little bit so they're nice and dark. And to make her mouth a little more pouty, we can add our blue and red together, get a bit of a purplish color. And we can. We can make this in here a little darker. Just make a few adjustments to help you get what you're looking for. Yep, just get a nice dark line in here. And that gives her a nice little look there. Keep getting the darker color, putting it at the bottom here. And good. And I'm get a bit of white to add to that. That line there is a little too thick. Take that out. So you make adjustments as you as you work along with it, okay? A little more white to the teeth. But you want some shadow in the teeth so they won't stand out too much. And then you can make adjustments to the face by adding a little more shadow on the edge here. A little shadow color and just add a little more shadow just to give more shape to the nose. And a bit of white on the top here. And what we'll do now, these shadows are nice and dark. I did that so that you could see them, that's all. But you can lighten them up better than that if you like. So we're going to finish off the eyebrows. And then we're going to work on the hair. So with the eyebrows, we will go with, uh, let's see, let's see. Um, let's go with some white. White. Let's try white. We're really light brown. Let's see first what we need. Just a few little streaks of white. Now she don't have white in her eyebrows, but I'm going to put this in as a background so that we can get some realistic look to her eyebrows. Okay, so that's one. Make sure 
make sure you can see it. Good, and then we'll do the other one. Up, up. Okay. Do the other one. We'll get some of those white lines in there just for a background so we can put some more brown back on. Give it more of a realistic look. Good. I need to go over that with some. Okay, now we'll go and get some of our brown. Burnt umber, whatever dark brown you have there. And then just put lines over that again with the dark, with the brown. See? And that breaks it up and it gives it more of a little bit more realistic look to her eyebrows. Good. So the white would be basically highlights. There we go. Now if the white is still wet it may start turning a light color on you, but let's keep doing this for a minute. Good. Shape up her eyebrows the way you want them. Good. Get nice and round up here on the top. Good. So now we can round them up, make them nice and shapely. Good. So you can go back and forth on this as much as you want. I don't want to spend all many hours just picking at it because you'll get bored and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to do some adjustments. And as long as you got the basics and you got the skin tone color and you got the basics of uh, how we did this, then you can make adjustments as you go along. Don't expect it to be perfect at first because this is not easy. It's not easy. Some videos may make, make it look easy, but you know, I don't think it's that easy. Not for me anyway. So I put a bit of shadow there inside the nose so that would uh, that would make it look more like it's um, shadowy and, and you always put a bit of highlight on the nose there and we might do some more highlighting and stuff but uh, let's see what I can show you so that you can so that you have an idea what's going on. Let's put a little bit of I'll just make a few little adjustments where I see I think I need them. Alright. Eyes look pretty good. Her eyebrows are not too bad there now. That looks a bit better there now. See, in the picture, this picture, she may have been in some kind of a lighting situation where, you know, sometimes when you're in light, like my shadows there, see how dark they are? Right? So if I was painting my head, and that shadow, that shadow would be pretty dark. Now in another circumstance it might be lighter, like over here. So it dep depends on the, the way the lighting was set up. And we're just going to go by the picture as if it was really, really dark shadows on the face. But you can certainly change, you can change that to a lighter shadow as long as you have some idea. And it depends on the picture also how it's going to turn out. So that's why I'd like to do more portraits for you so that I can show you the difference in different portraits and how they, how they differ in, in shadows and things like that. So, so you can certainly uh, think about that one. You know, not everybody wants to have their portrait done right in front of thousands of people, you know. But uh, I'm going to clean that edge up there. See, I just want to show you how you can pick at it and get it the way and make it more round there on the edge. See that? Right? Because it was kind of straighter. So I'm just trying to get that shadowed look like it's going around the face. Yeah, so I'd like to be able to show you more portraits in different lighting situations. Some with hardly any lighting, just with some shading to make the 
to bring out the face um, bring out the shape of the face if you look at my uh, where I did a sketch it shows you all the shading and how I shade it and everything now it's so much different from doing a painting because paintings are a little harder but if you look at that I'll leave the link and if you look at that sketch and how I got the shadows and everything it might help you a little bit and it may not I'm not sure but who knows so um, what we can do here is we can put some highlights normally when you do a portrait there's a highlight that you ever look at people and um, pictures and stuff and you'll see that there's light in the center of the face it's, it's like it's brighter here coming down the nose, tip of the nose and the chin. That's where the light seems to, when you're face on, it seems like that's where the light is. So why don't we lighten up, maybe destroy our painting. But you know, you never know, let's try. So let's get our basic colors of white and our little bit of yellow. And unless you got a big batch of this or you bought a pre-made paint, this is what you're going to have to do every time you want to go back to the flesh tones, right? But if you bought that uh, flesh tones and you want to lighten it, just add white to it to lighten it up, right? And if you want to darken it, just add the brown. So, you know, but you'll always have that one color already made. Mine is empty here now because I used it in art class, so I want to get some more. I think that would be much easier to teach you because uh, there's too much going back and forth with the colors. So, especially when I'm doing videos. So I'm just going to mix up a lighter color so I can make some kind of a, a highlight on her forehead. And that might be a little bit too bright, so I mean, you adjust it. Let's see what happens. Oh beat me up okay so I'm gonna darken this a small bit more but I want it a little bit lighter than what the, her skin tone is on there already so, but I don't want it to the point where it's like a white blob so I'm just gonna put a little bit of a highlight here coming down the nose a little bit and a little bit just in the center there you see how that's you smooth it out into the nose you got the tip of the nose already done and some around the chin see so that kind of brings it out a bit more too almost looks gray there on the uh, uh, on the camera but it's it's really a nice light light color see if I can get it lighter maybe that will show up better maybe 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 well, I'm noisy tonight aren't I okay so a little bit lighter there but on the camera it's not going to show it's only going to show as a blob but we will we'll spread that out okay down the nose so we can have some highlight on the nose and move that around and around the chin now what I'm going to do is before that dries on me I'm going to wipe my brush off and clean it off really good so that there's no paint on it and then I'm going to just move that around a bit okay move it around so it so it'll go into what you already have done there we go and that will blend in with the rest of it but yet it won't there we go get that before it dries down here I just scrubbing in no blending gel you wouldn't have a problem with that right blending gel would really help all right more on our nose there we go you can use your hand if you want to your finger so that's a little better but like I said the camera is not showing that really nice glow I'll tell you somewhere else you should have it our cheeks 
Let's do her cheeks. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's see now if I don't know this. Let's see. You say when, I'm, when you're doing a video, you have no idea what's going to happen. and But when you're doing it live, it's even harder. So I'll put a little bit of white on the cheeks. A little bit of white here, a little bit of white here. Clean off the brush really, 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 really good. And next time I'm going to take my jewelry off because it's too noisy. Okay, now blend that in. Because your brush is really clean, it's going to spread it out and it's going to blend it in with what you already have done without destroying everything. Alright, so that gives that cheek a nice little glow. And that cheek a nice little glow. Alright. That's not too bad. There we go. That did that. It'd be hard to see on the camera, but... So just do that, just to brighten up different areas of the face. Uh, like I said, the forehead, cheeks, nose, and chin are the highlighted areas, okay? Right, now let's try the hair.